Moikka. Vera Jusila has been blogging for about a decade. At first she was blogging about her kids and family life, but soon she grew out of the parenting segment and decided that instead of sharing her personal life, she starts sharing her discoveries, tips, and tricks through the knitting and crafting blog instead. And this is how Kasietu Kekaret.fi was born. Next level with Google Discover. Not a newbie, Vira knows a thing or two about content, and she knows the time and effort it takes to build up the audience. She knows that being consistent is the key. She knows that sometimes some posts will fly higher than others. But then something happened. Suddenly, out of the blue, unexpected traffic spikes appeared. No, not the same as she had experienced when something got more attention in social media and went viral. This was different. Every time she opened up analytics, she saw that there was an unusual amount of visitors constantly on the page. It must be some sort of attack, she thought to herself. Getting in touch with the customer support at Saravo, the hosting company, a closer look and quick analysis revealed that it was not an attack. It was unexpected fame. Those were not bots on her site. There were real people with real interest in her content. She had been featured on Google's new service called Discover. Google Discover is an addition that Google provides for all mobile browsers. Google has been the go-to guy when one is searching for answers to their questions or the information they are interested in. Discover has made it easy, as it brings up content on people's interests without the effort of them needing to type anything. The machine learning tech driving it, Discover, brings up content from the sources that the viewer has subscribed to or what the bots think would be of interest to the viewer. Therefore, showing up in front of all those pairs of eyes, which could potentially be Vera followers, this is not limited to what's published today, but also for evergreen content. If Google believes that a user would find earlier content interesting, then Discover will show it. Discover is unique because it's one step ahead. It helps you come across the things you haven't started looking for. And the AI proves to be working extremely well, as you could also learn from the traffic of Kasiya Kyukekare. Although Vera was caught by surprise, she did not end up being featured on Discover accidentally. As said before, Vera is not new to this world. She had been working on the things that would increase her chances of getting discovered by Google Discover, but she did not pay too much attention to it. And actually, stopped pushing this as she was focusing on social media instead. Google itself has said that there aren't any methods for boosting the ranking of your pages other than posting content that you think users will find interesting. That, of course, if you have done all that is suggested in Google's Webmaster Guidelines. The best way to help to boost the content, though, according to Google, is if additionally to high-quality content, you use high-quality images. Images that are at least 1,200 pixels wide. Publishers experience an increase in click-through rate and user satisfaction when Discover Card features large images instead of thumbnail images. And also ensure that Google has the rights to display your high-quality images to users, either by using AMP or by filling out a special form to express your interest in their opt-in program. Vera has now been living off the blog revenue for a full year. She does patterns to magazines, gives knitting and sewing classes, sells her own patterns, wrote a book, and does collaborations with others. She modestly adds the craft in the industry is really difficult. I had already a quite substantial number of visitors for this kind of crafting blog, even without Google Discover. If it would have been as profitable as fashion blogs, it would be great. I am trying to change it though. And the winds seem to blow in her favor as she adds, Knitting is now a really cool thing in Finland. I'm also trying to teach how one could take care of knittings, socks, and how to darn and mend them. This is the way I'm making a difference and serving others. 